I think we can all agree that 2020 was a miserable year. And although we've yet to break free of this pandemic, the horizon is aglow with the promise of a new day. The heavy weight we've all endured for the past year will eventually recede, diminishing from the intensity of a forest fire to the flame of a single candle, extinguished silently by the gentle breeze of sunrise. Many of us look forward to the moment when things will return to normal, but the normal we face will be different from that of years past. Many things will change, but despite the horrific reality of this past year, there too will be positive change. When I set out on my winter trip just over a year ago, the pandemic was a scattering of storm clouds across the vast ocean, soon to expand across the globe, impacting each and every one of us. On my drive home from that trip, I watched an airplane full of evacuees pass low over the freeway. It landed at a local military base, followed by a two-week quarantine. One month later, the camera store I worked at was forced to temporarily close. My decision to pursue landscape photography as a career was several years in the making, but at that very moment, it became a reality. I've been on several photography trips over the past year, and although I was able to produce some work I'm very proud of, each one of those trips was negatively impacted. I need to be in a certain mindset on these trips, but there was no escape from this pandemic. It's now late January, and on any other year, I'd be soaking in the silence of Death Valley right now. But the campgrounds are closed, so that trip will have to wait. Just over a week ago, I saw snow in the forecast for Zion, and I knew this was my opportunity. I now have the ability to time my trips according to the weather, something I was never able to do in the past. I'm set to arrive ahead of the storm, and over the next week or so, there will be several days of rain and snow. I've never worked in these conditions before, but it's something I've always wanted to experience, and I look forward to the opportunities that await. This is a story of my winter of 2021 visit to Zion National Park. Well, after an eight hour drive, I've arrived here in Zion. And it's a pretty mild day, um, but it's gonna change in the coming days. There's a winter storm on the way. So there's a chance of rain tomorrow, and the day after that, a chance of snow. I've always wanted to come here during a winter storm, but it's always a really tough to time. I saw this storm on the way in and figured this is probably my opportunity. And who knows, maybe it'll just be a very frustrating thing to shoot because uh, shooting a view camera in any sort of inclement weather can be difficult. And the snow doesn't usually last very long here in Zion. But I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be a very relaxed trip. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try not to push myself too hard. I'm looking forward to Seeing what I could find. Well, good morning, everyone. It is uh, not too chilly this morning. It's in the uh, the low 40s Fahrenheit, so it's not even at freezing yet. And there's a little bit of rain overnight, just a little bit. And as the day progresses, it's gonna get even more rainy. And I don't know that I'm gonna be shooting any photos today. Um, I mean, if I find some great opportunities, like some waterfalls or stuff like that, I'd be more than happy to shoot some photos. But uh, I think this is more a process of setting the stage for what's going to happen in the next week or so with getting some water flowing through some washes and then some cold nights after that and some many days of snow perhaps so in the past i've put a lot of pressure on myself to try to find one photo each day and in many ways that's been responsible for me finding some great subjects through the years but also it does put a lot of pressure on me so this trip's gonna be a little different and I'm just going to enjoy the experience, and I may very well not shoot any photos today, which is just fine, but uh, my hopes is to, my hopes, my hope <laughs> is to uh, bring you along for the ride as the rain moves through here and the sights and the sounds as 
the washes come alive with some trickling water perhaps and we'll see what happens with that but i'll enjoy my breakfast here which i am supplementing with some olive oil get some more calories in me and then uh, we'll see what happens as the morning progresses Well, it's midday now. The very gentle rain has begun to fall. The light's very flat right now, very overcast. Some dark clouds up there. And I'm taking this as an opportunity to wander around and scout around to see if I can find some sort of subject that might look decent with snow. So I'm thinking some pine trees or something along those lines. Looking for a truth character that has an interesting backdrop. And who knows what it'll actually look like when the snow begins to fall, but I gotta come up with some sort of plan for when that happens. It's so quiet and calm here right now. It's almost too quiet. The sandstone, when it gets wet, gets really slippery, especially the darker areas. So you gotta be really careful. And that's something I'm also taking into consideration. Because if I can find a interesting subject that involves me having to walk up a, you know, moderately inclined sandstone slope, and uh, <laughs> may not be so possible when it's wet and icy and snowy. But I'm enjoying spending my time here, wandering around. I've been covering a lot of ground today just to see what I could find and think about heading down to the main canyon as well. So quiet here. This is a Zion that I really love. So one of the things I've always loved here in Zion is the manzanita. And it has this brilliant red bark to it. And with the overcast light and with the uh, little bit of moisture in it from just a really light rain, it's so vibrant. And you compare that to the really dark, um, sort of the leaves underneath as they've begun to decay a little bit, but they've picked up some of that moisture and they've gone really, really dark. You have this brilliant contrast and I've just been wandering around here because I know there's potential here somewhere but I gotta find some sort of scene that would be decent to photograph and decent to compose because it is madness but it is it is beautiful and this is the most beautiful I've seen it of all the times I've come here to Zion so it's a matter of working with the lighting conditions here light rain because if I can find a composition I'd love to get my camera out and uh, see if I can expose some film but it's tough to compose, I gotta tell you. It's really tough. Well, the clouds sure got dark there for a while and it was threatening to rain, but it never really happened. So I spent a lot of time scouting around and just trying to figure out what I'm gonna do when the snow does come. And I checked the weather and it looks like uh, the rain that was supposed to come in this afternoon has been pushed in toward overnight. And so it means that there should be a pretty good chance of having decent amount of snow in the morning. So, I, uh, even after spending all the time today wandering around and looking for interesting subjects, I can't really say that I have anything in particular in mind. So I feel that tomorrow morning, assuming there is some snow, uh, that's going to be a mad dash just to try to find something to put my camera at. The light is really, really flat today. And even though I found some interesting subjects, some leaves on the ground and stuff like that, the light just isn't all that great. And without having a good light, it doesn't, it's just not really worth it. So, but we'll see. I'm going to keep wandering around a little bit, keep looking around. Then I'm going to head back to camp, get some dinner. And uh, we'll see what happens. 
in the morning. If you enjoy this ad-free and clickbait-free content and want to help me live my dream, a volunteer contribution of just $24 a year helps keep my gas tank full and my film freezer stocked. For more information on how to support me and my work, please visit the donation section of my website at benhorn.com slash donate. I also have prints in my portfolio box set available on my website. You can find a direct link down below in the show notes. Thanks in advance for your support.